Our next topic is current divider. Current divider is another simple yet important circuit that is used in electronics. The current divider concept is used when we only have two resistors in parallel. So if you have three resistors in parallel or more, you cannot use current divider. And those two resistors are supplied by a current source, or we know the total current flowing into those two parallel resistors. The current divider states that the current will be divided among those two resistors. The internal resistance Ri with the internal current source may in simple practical current source. The current divider states that the current to the load IL will equal to the value of the opposite resistor that is Ri over the sum of the two resistors which are Ri plus RL times the total current. Again we would like to investigate three important cases. The first case is when the load resistance is much much smaller or less than the source resistance. Then the load current is approximately equal to the total current that is supplies the circuit which is IS. Let's show you that through example. In the circuit, we have the load resistance to be 10 ohms, which is much, much, much smaller than the source resistance, which is the 100K. By applying the current divider equation, we can state that the load current IL equals to the opposite resistance, that is the 100K, over the sum of both resistors, which is 100K plus 10K, times the total current, which is 3 milliamp, and that is equal to 2.9997 milliamp, which is approximately 3 milliamps. So if the load resistance is very, very small, more current will flow through it. The reason is the voltage across the two resistors is the same. They are in parallel, so most of the current will flow through the smaller resistance. So if you have a practical current source and you want to obtain or get all of the current or most of the current to the load resistance, make sure that the load resistance is much, much smaller than the source resistance for the current source, right? In fact, if the load resistance is zero, which means it's a short circuit, then all of the source current will flow through the, sh the short circuit. Right? So that's something we should also know from circuit theory. So if you want to suck all of the current or most of the current from the source, make sure that the load resistance is very small. The second case we are interested in is when the load resistance is much, much larger than the source resistance, then the load current can be approximated to be zero. So let's show you that through a numerical example. In this example, we're going to have the load resistance to be 100K while the source resistance that is in parallel with it will equal to 10 ohms. Clearly, the load resistance here is much, much larger than the source resistance, and uh, we expect that the load current to be very small. By applying the current divider equation, we can state that the load current IL is equal to the opposite resistance, that 10 ohms, over the sum of the two resistors, which is 100K plus the 10 ohms, times the 3 milliamp, this is equal to 0 0.29997 microamp. So keep in mind that microamp is much, much, much smaller than milliamp. So this is a clearly is much, much, much smaller than the total current supplies the circuit. We can approximate that to say roughly it is zero amp or very small current. The third condition we are interested in is when the load resistance equal to the source resistance under this condition, the load current will equal to one half the total current that comes from the source. Let's show you that through example. And let's assume that we have three milliamps current source that supplies two resistors in parallel. Each one is 100 kilo ohms. 
by using the current divider equation, we can say that the load current will equal to the opposite resistor, which is 100K, over the sum of the two resistors, which is 100K plus 100K, times the 3 milliamps, and this will equal to 1.5 milliamps. So if the two resistors are equal, the current will split equally across them. So again, just like the voltage divider, the current divider concept is short and sweet. And it is very useful uh, in designing amplifiers, especially at the input and the output stages.